What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be asking you a question and this question I think can affect the way you possibly think about the future, right? That's why I said it can affect, I'm not going to say it will affect because this, is, this all comes down to your personal beliefs and, and your view and vision of, of what you want. Uh, for your future. But here's what it is, all right? It's what's the point, this is my question, what's the point of having a business if all you do is work all day long? Now, here's what I mean by that. A lot of people when they, they think about starting a business or a lot of people when they do start their business, they do that because they, they know they're not cut out to work for someone else. They're, they're wired a little bit differently um, they want to have more control. They want to have more freedom. They, they want to have more creativity. Um, and they know they don't want to work for someone else. So they start their thing, start their business. Um, and what most people don't realize is when you start a business, the first one to, I don't know, I mean, I can't say the exact amount of time. I, I can tell you from my experience, the first one to five years is absolutely painful, right? It, it's hard. You have a lot that you're not only learning. Um, if you don't know how to sell, you have to learn how to sell. If you don't know how to market, you have to learn how to market. If you don't know how to uh, put a program together, you have to learn how to do that. Like You have to deal with customers. You have to deal with problems. You have to deal with obstacles. That's very common. Every person faces that when they start any type of business. It doesn't matter. right? But the first one to five years are very, very hard, very challenging, very difficult. And go look up the stats. You can see how many businesses fail in the first year, first two, first five, first 10? I mean, it's pretty staggering, right? But my question here, this is for you if you're thinking long-term with your business, right? And really what I mean is, you know, what is the point of starting a business if that's all you do, if all you do is work, right? If that's all you care about, then what's the point? Now, am I saying that if that's all you care about, that you're a bad person? No. I, I can tell you for a fact, the first four or five years of my business, I did not care about anything or anyone, <laughs> right? And that's, that's one of the reasons why I succeeded is because I had my head down, I was driven, I was focused, like zero distractions, just that that's all I cared about, right? But as I've gotten older, I've realized, you know what? Like, yeah, you, you have to be really focused. You have to have maybe a few years where you are like that. But as you grow what you do, it should be about leverage. And it should be about how can we set up the business to where we can start working less in the business and more on the business. But create the business in a way that gives you more free time to do the things that you do want to do. And that's a completely different way of looking at it than starting a business and just grinding it out for the rest of your life. And again, there's nothing wrong doing that. I would much rather have that as the option than work for someone else. Like, let me be very clear. I would absolutely do that than work for someone else, All right? But as you grow and develop what you do, you want to try to think in terms of how can I set up systems so I can leverage my time so I'm not having to be in the day-to-day, -day, uh, you know, busy work that I used to have to do. And when you think that way, now you start to build more leverage within your business. And I feel like the only way you can build leverage in your business is by you having more experience. The more experience you have, the easier it is to figure out what those things are. The less experience you have, well, it's going to be very difficult to, to have leverage when you don't have any clients, right? And this is why I, I, I've looked at this very closely within my life. I've looked at this very closely within other coaches that we're helping. And I think this is actually really common. It's more common than people think. As you grow your business and as you scale, oftentimes those, type, those people become trapped in their business. And once they get trapped, they're probably working more hours. Yeah, they might be making more money, 
but it's not going to feel as fulfilling at that point because all they're doing is spending all their time working, all right? So my challenge to you, very simple, okay? I want you to be able to look at what you're doing with your business and think, okay, how can I set this up to where this will be better leveraged in the future to where I can spend more time on the important activities that drive my business versus working in the business all the time? Let me give you some examples of what this can look like. This way, I'm not just talking theory here. I'm, just, I'm gonna give you some actual examples. So one example would be if you are a, a coach who does a lot of in-person training and you have built up a good reputation, you have experience, you've gotten great results, a, a, a good opportunity for you would be, well, could you hire another coach? Could you bring another coach on who can start to take over some of the training that you're doing, right? Could that happen? Yes. Is anyone gonna stop you from doing that? Nope, right? So you can absolutely do that. Another option is could you create an online version of what you do with your clients? The answer is yes. I've proven that to be true. You can go look it up. Uh, OnlineSoccerSkills.com, I still have products that sell every month. I've created a lot of different products there. Um, I just ran a July 4th promo and that did really well. <laughs> like while I was outside with my wife on a walk, we were gone for like two or three hours. I came home, I checked my email. There was uh, many sales of a $200 product. Can that happen for you? Yes. Are you gonna have to figure it out and learn how to do it? Yeah, right? But those things are possible. So I'm talking about while you're not working, how are you generating revenue, right? While you're going on a walk or while you're going on a hike, how can you set something up? How can you set up a mechanism that it can work without you, right? And that in my, it just in the way my brain thinks, that's how you're going to be able to create more freedom from your day-to-day -day busy work type of business or your in-person training. Bring someone on or try to go online, right? And I want to tell you that not only to encourage you to start thinking in terms of, of building that, but I'm telling you that because there's a lot more to like, life than just working in or on your business all day long. And again, that's a personal choice that you get to make. I'm not going to tell you that you should spend more time with your family. I'm not going to tell you that you should spend more time with your kids. That's on you, right? What I'm here to say is like, I, I've been consciously thinking of this over the past year with how I operate, what I do. And the only way to make tweaks and make changes with what you're doing is by taking a step back and actually looking at what you're doing and seeing, well, how many hours am I working? Like, how do I want it to design this to where I can build my business, right, around my lifestyle, right? And that's why for me, there's going to be many changes that I'm making over the next six to 18 months with what I do personally, many changes. I know one of those things is I, I'm not going to have social media, period. Like, not going to be responsible for replying to anyone on social media, period. Um, there's certain things within the business that are going to change. And that's because I've taken a deep look at, well, what are the things that take me time that I shouldn't be doing, that I don't need to be doing, that either someone else could be doing or shouldn't be done at all? And how could I create a little system there? So I can go spend more free time doing whatever with my wife or going out of town or just doing whatever, things that don't have anything to do with work, all right? And that's why I wanted to share this video. And I know I'm, I'm talking about a lot of different stuff here, but that question of what's the point of starting a business if all you do is work, that really, that's hit a lot of people that I'm helping right now because they are starting to see as their business gets better, Sometimes they, they get trapped in their job, 
and that's all they have time to do. And I really challenge you to think in, think in terms of how can we set this up in a way where it's more leveraged. That's it for today's video. If you want to hear more videos or see more videos like this, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, it's been really cool. We, we've I feel like in the last couple of months, we've been able to grow here on YouTube quite a bit. Um, and I'm the type of person, I don't care if we have a lot of subscribers. I care if you're watching those videos and these actually help you and you take action. That's all, I, that's the reason why I shoot these videos is I actually want you to take the information from someone who has a lot of experience and implement that because these, these are things that I wish I had when I was a lot younger when I started my business, all right? So hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, shoot me a text at 210-960-5771. That's it. I'll see you later.